Paul and Sharon and little Billy. <laughs> <laughs> be Ben, be Ben, ben these days, ben. I reckon. Yeah. What do you think, uh, Carl? What was the wedding, by the way? Did you find you? Um, Suzanne sorted something out. Yeah. What? Um, I don't know. Oh, actually, no, we, we're going away. I'm going to week away. Well, that's, that's, that's your gift? Yeah. What, you're going away? No, we're going away to Cornwall or something, and, uh, uh, yeah, that's it. We've, we, we've sort of paid for the, for a place to stay in there. Come along and, that. and their gift is to spend a week with you in a s confined space. Oh, they'll, they'll have a great time and that. Will they? Yeah, it's fine. Can yeah. I, sorry, can I get a pen? I'm making a note of how many times you say and that during today's show. And so far there's three. I've noticed three. I'm just gonna, can I just make a note because I think we can have a competition here. And <laughs> if times. you can predict how many times he's gonna say and that, and the closest one wins um, some of the crap DVDs that we've got on offer. Hold on, tell me, tell me we've got a ladder 49. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Landed Ben Folds on XFM 104.9. We've had an email, Rick, from Simon Whitaker. He says, uh, he's throwing the question to Carl. Have you seen the video for that Ben Folds song where there's apparently a monkey working the sound desk and shifting the piano? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you want to check that out. Talking of monkeys, um, working the sound desk. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've also had a lot of emails directed Smooth. to you. Yeah. A lot of emails directed to you, Carl, asking if you saw this program that was on in the week. The, I, no, I think, I didn't see it. I think I it's know, called I know the, the Strangest... Of the Strangest Village yeah. in Britain. Yeah. Did he watch it? He called me six times during it. <laughs> of he called he me six times. Erida... Now, just explain briefly what this was, because I didn't see it. Well, it was, um, uh, a sort of a, an experiment, um, for, I think, oh, I can work out from the sort of 70s, um, and it's, it was sort of run by, from what can make out, mainly sort of German, uh, Christians. Right. And, um, what it was, it was, um, uh, people with various disabilities, or mental illnesses, uh, Down syndrome, uh, uh, autism, b bewildered, you know, and, and they were living normally in the community. And there was 300 people in the village, half, um, had some sort of, uh, um, problem, mental problem or, or disability, and the other half were sort of carers. And, uh, um, I mean, it, you know, it was it was very very strange. And where is this village? Uh, it's, it's somewhere up, in this. It's up near Whitby, isn't it? Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. But he called me. Uh, he called me at various points. You watching that? Uh, and just started off. He, he went, "Geez, if that's the beginning, what have they got coming up?" <laughs> then there was two fellas, and it, 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 the phone rang, and it went, "What is going on?" And it was two um, blokes who had created their own language. <laughs> okay. And they were going, what do you know? And you go, what do we do? do, 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 do. And, uh, what, uh, you know, it was an interesting program. I love documentary like that. But what made it twice as good was that I knew that Carl was getting confused. Yeah. He was getting, there was one bloke that went round interviewing people and he just have a string of questions and he'd go, have you had, ever had curly hair? What's your favourite animal? Have you ever seen a badger? Uh, and, um, Carl was getting stressed. It was stressing me out. Because right. he was trying to think of the answers quickly enough. <laughs> Is that, yeah, he was sort of saying, you know, uh, do you like mosaics and that? And I was like, no, oh, do you? And, and the next question was coming in. It was like, it was like Malik's Malik. Okay. You know, that sort of... <laughs> That word association thing, it was oh, yeah. stressing me out. <laughs> but he said he wanted to go there. He actually said, oh, could I go for a holiday there? And I went, well, I, I doubt that. I don't know. Maybe you could go on a, a visit. You know, oh, that, that would be great, wouldn't it? To st for Carl to walk in there. But the thing about it, it would be like, Carl would be the ruler. He'd be the king. It would be that, in the kingdom of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. I mean, he would just die. I don't know. There was someone who were quite clever. Really? Yeah, I don't think he'd, I, don't, I, I think he'd probably be average. Yeah. I, don't th I don't think he'd... <laughs> okay, he'd think, come I mean, in. No, I don't, I, I don't think he'd shine. Because <laughs> yeah. a lot of them were quite good at some things, weren't they? He didn't like the, um, the angry bloke who punched him. There was a, um, this really sort of sweet Down Syndrome woman called Nan. And, um, uh, she hadn't hung her coat up and this angry, um, bloke was going, if you don't hang your coat up, I will. And he punched her, didn't he? Yeah. And yeah, poor yeah. Nan got it in the f neck from everyone. There was another woman bullying her, wasn't he? That yeah. Uh, yeah. But you like the little, um... The the, the 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 little dancing to a fellow with a woolly yeah, hat who was helping right. that if, woman. If I went now, he's the one who had sort of hunt down and say, come on, let's go for a pint or something. Sure. But, uh, Incidentally, do you like mosaics? We didn't establish that. Uh, <laughs> he's still thinking about it. <sighs> what was his name, that one, that you, the, 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 that you liked, that you wanted to hang around with? What was his name? Uh, uh, I can't remember. I he was good, I liked him, he was nice, wasn't he? Yeah. He yeah. Fe he's the one that fell over, then, and, then, um, Proposed marriage to that woman, didn't he? Yeah. I remember, um, I was on a, 
I don't know if this is all right to talk about. It happened, so, you know, not really. This is all right to talk about. Everything's all right to talk about. I mean, but, but, to talk I was, about. but I was on the train, right, uh, coming from Manchester back to London, right? Yeah. And, uh, got on it. It was like a Friday night. And it was heaving, you know, like the, the, the last train is and all that. And, um, absolutely chocker. Right? Yeah. So I'm walking through the carriages, <laughs> thinking, oh, is he in his seats anyway? Is he, is he? Anyway. Everyone's like, it's, it's heaving, right? It's people stood up in the doorways, you can't get in the toilet and all that. There's not going to be any chair knocking about. You know, so. Walking through, and anyway, I see this one empty chair sort of in front of me, right? I think, oh, why aren't anyone sat there? Right? I'll just rush to that, get to that, get myself a seat. Plonk myself down, right? And, uh, sort of turn round, you know, see who I'm facing, you know, see who you're sort of having a chat with. Little fella there, <laughs> right? Little, uh, uh, well, Down syndrome kid. Right. <laughs> sat there. And, uh, he goes, alright. And I thought, oh. Right. Not, not bad, but do you, do you know what I mean? They're always talking, aren't they? They ask a lot of questions. <laughs> right, so I was like, oh, here we go. Two and a half hours. And I couldn't get up because the thing is, that's obvious. Sure. Right. So that's, that's like mean. I don't, I, I never want to be mean. Do you know what I mean? No. The end of the day. So, um, so anyway. So I think I know. I'll go to sleep. <laughs> Clever. Right, so I shut my eyes and he leaves me alone and that. So, uh, so then my phone goes and I think, right, what do I do? Do I ignore it or do I open my eyes and see what it is? Anyway, I open my eyes, it's Ricky calling about something. About nothing, probably, actually thinking about it. It wasn't even worth answering, right? So anyway, I'm awake now, aren't I? So he's like, hello. And I'm like, alright, mate. And he says, uh, said you're muscly. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! And, uh, yeah. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he goes, uh, you know, why? So I said, no, just, just am. It's again stressing me out because I'm thinking, why am I? Why am I muscly? I don't go to the gym. And you know, I mean, I'm not muscly. I'm in good shape. Now. Well, so, uh, so then uh, he wants an arm wrestle. <laughs> On a cram train from Manchester, so I've got another hour and a half of this. <laughs> <laughs> when so, you talk back, he'd soon have got up and left. <laughs> if you just started asking him questions, he'd have got up and left with a dribble you come out with. So anyway, uh, do you know when you're under pressure, you think, well, he's said that I'm muscly, you know, right, so do I do it or not? What, and there's people watching, you know, not joining in, not sort of having a laugh and that when they just, just like watching but pretending they're not. Oh, and I'm God. on one of those table seats, so it, and he kept saying, "Come on, I'll arm wrestle." So and he was getting loud, and I thought, "Oh, I best just start an arm wrestle." <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? I best just have an arm wrestle. Uh, if he's going to keep asking, I had another hour and a half on the train. Oh God. So anyway. Oh uh, my God. I'm I thinking he won. Well, I'm, yeah. Well, I'm thinking, were people putting bets on? Yeah, it, was, <laughs> it was stopped and just as well, really. Was it, it was stopped, it was stopped no, he, and why was it getting? No, 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 no. He, he sort of, he was, he was winning. I was struggling a bit, right? Yeah. And he was really like, you know, taking my arm down. And then he sort of let go and started laughing. And I thought, thank God he let go because I would have made. You know what I mean? If I lost that, <laughs> everyone's in the train looking, and all the rest of it. <laughs> It's something serious yeah. to him. He's got to win this. Anyway, Hilking turn. turn. But then he just, uh, then we were chatting about favourite food and that. He likes sausages. <laughs> and I said, you know, he said, do you like sausages? I said, yeah, they're alright. I like a bit of Chinese and that as well. And he was saying, oh, I can't have Chinese. Not allowed Chinese. Why? Uh, don't know. He just said, uh, it's not allowed to have it. Right. But, uh, but yeah, I d had a good long chat about, about stuff and that, but. So you enjoyed it in the end? In the end, it was it was all right. Yeah, it's uh, just what do you suppose? Mm, okay. No, but it's that thing, and it? it's it's always when it, whenever you're faced with something different, yeah. it's always awkward, isn't it? And that's the thing. You're talking about him now, are you? And, and I I think I did all right because everyone else was ignoring him, but yeah. I probably made his day pretty good. Yeah. Well, I, spoke. I like the idea that that newlywed couple are probably <laughs> thinking that's going to be a similar journey down to Cornwall. <laughs> Forever lost. I, I was taken unawares because I was. I opened that um that thing. What is it? The confectionery. Well, we were sort of doing it ironically, like people getting shameless plugs by giving us stuff. But then I opened it, and it's brilliant. It is brilliant. It's all retro stuff. It's got a curly whirly, a fountain, sherbet fountain, 
I just been eating a drumstick that I didn't quite finish in time. It's got some of those little cola bottles. Uh, that's Hope and Greenwood and their confectionery, which I don't know, they're the perfect summer gift, perhaps you've got to go to a wedding or a um, barbecue party. And we've got some rubbish to give away now, haven't we? We have indeed, yeah. If only we hadn't opened that, we could have thrown that in the mix. I know, no, no, it's too good to give away. It's time for Rockbusters, uh, the quiz that no one looks forward to. And, um, <laughs> we've got, as usual, the bunch of, uh, CDs, uh, DVDs, I should say, which, um... Just tell me we have got another copy of Ladder 49. Ladder 49's right here. That's Brilliant. in the mix, yeah. How many did I send you? Joaquin Phoenix, John Travolta, Ladder 49, the movie that no one's seen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've never met anyone who's seen it. But it's owned by every single Exitem <laughs> listener. Exactly. Um, also in the mix, uh, as I said before, there we've got Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, um, <laughs> which, um, if you haven't seen that on telly, I'd be very surprised. Uh, French and Saunders at the movie, the, uh, the best of all the French and Saunders movie spoofs, which is, I think, on TV every single night. Yeah. Um, it's a very gay giveaway so far, it's isn't it? Well, this got one, this one. 49, the people in uniform, you've got Queen of the Desert and French and Saunders, well, the gays love them. You know how much a fellow of, of uh, Chevy Chase, you know I love Chevy Chase. Yeah. Well, uh, we've also got here National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation 2, which doesn't feature Chevy Chase. <laughs> it was so bad, even Chevy wouldn't agree to be in it, so instead Randy Quaid, who plays Cousin Eddie, it's him. Right. And on the back right now, it says, Special Appearance by Eric Idle. Brilliant. I mean, let's be honest, if a film's got a special appearance by Eric Idle, <laughs> I know. It's probably not classic, is what do I'm saying. Do you reckon you do, um, Always Walk on the and <laughs> on the right side of life. That's Anyways, it. that's just some of the DVDs which you can win. And obviously, the, the real reason you should enter is because you go forward to this big prize draw, um, which is in our last show, where you can win some actual quality. Um, yeah, a, a signed uh, Matt Groening drawing. And if you can see him drawing that on wickedgervais.com, it is uh, totally genuine. It's there, him actually drawing it in front of your very eyes. Also, um, us uh, made us uh, flanimals um, and a signed um, uh, poster uh, by Nigel Tufnell. Christopher Guest. Sure. So proper good prizes. Yep. So that this is uh, I think it should be the last one to get into it. Maybe next week the four that we've got get down to two maybe, and then we get them on the line. The last. Uh, what do you think? Well, I'll be honest. I wish we'd thought it through. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you, but I wish we thought this. Chris Campling, if he's got any ideas <laughs> yeah. to how this show could have run, see, we should have we should have scripted this. What yeah. we said, we just said the go in a drawer, didn't we? Did we? we yeah, worried. we hadn't thought it through though. Yeah, but we can't keep swapping and changing. Well, well we, we haven't done that yet. We can just we can do what we want. Yeah. We, we can have any BAFTAs we've won, we can do exactly what we want. High five. Well, listen. <laughs> Six. Right, well, let's, let's get down to business then. Let's get right, down so to what, business. Let's, just, uh, let's explain briefly what this quiz is for those that have only just started listening to the show. Um, basically, it's basically, uh, um, blockbusters. Well, you say that, Rick, but it's not, is it? I mean, that blockbusters made sense. Yeah, this well, this is the thing that, uh, Carl thinks this is a cryptic clue going right. A fella is walking along and it, oh, look, there's the fish. What does that mean? Deep trout <laughs> sinners. Some, some, well, of I mean, them, some of them are hard because they've, they've dug them all out. Some of them are hard because they don't make sense. No, but they've dug them all out because they're going to put them all on the website for people to play along with and they came to me for the answers. And some of them are, are pretty tricky. I couldn't answer them. <laughs> So I love that. Well, anyway, um, <laughs> the only man that can outwit himself. Right so, then. so the first one then, here we go. Why don't you borrow some land off Mr. Boardman or Mr. Laurel or Mr. Fletcher? Alright? Why don't you borrow a little bit of land? Oh, it's changed already. Already changed. Right. Already oh, changed. Mr. Boardman. Well, no, they do it again and do it exactly the same each time. Do it again. Uh, why, uh, don't, why, right. don't, why don't you borrow uh, some land off, off Mr. Boardman or Mr. Laurel or Mr. Fletcher if you, if you need a bit of it? <laughs> <laughs> what's the okay, what's the, what are the initials? Right, LS. LS. LS, that's a band or an artist. Who am I talking about? Mm. Uh, second one. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, uh, uh, that's right, he's got a sweet in his mouth. <laughs> I'm gonna annoy those, uh, those seabirds over there. Mm. Right. I'm going to annoy those seabirds over there. Oh, just, just those seabirds, it doesn't matter where they are. I'm going to annoy them seabirds. I don't know what he's talking about anymore, Steve! Honestly! B. B is the initial. I love the fact that he was fascinated by the strangest village in Britain, but the stories he's told us about where he comes from, there's him going around with two fellows with big heads, webbed feet, a little pigeon-chested bloke, uh, him on his grifter with Maggie pecking at him, his dad in the telephone box nicking groceries and a horse in the house next door. <laughs> I mean, how strange was his upbringing? Yeah. And him hanging from his satchel. To, uh, uh, unbelievable. There's another Jeffrey. woman who I remembered. Actually, I'll tell you later. Go on, what? what no, no, I'll tell you, tell you later about another woman who I remembered. What is it? Give us a, give oh, a, give us a teaser. It's just a woman who rode around on a three-wheeled bike with her husband in a basket. <laughs> right, I'll tell you that. Right, right and, and the final, the you final You don't get teasers like that on the radio station. a funeral service. Oh. Right, listen. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
what the Scouse fella said to the robber who he found in his house next to his vineyard. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> what? Again. Right, so what the Scouse fella said- Right, this is gonna be a pronunciation thing. To the robber he found in his house- Oh, God, I've, I've lost his... the will to live. I have lo I, I, I wanna get in that woman's basket on the street, we'll just be driven mad the initials, the initials are A-W. A-W. Who is it? Right. Well, Email in that. Mm. Should we have also on the text 83XFM? You can win um, Christmas, Christmas, vac vacation. Oh, three. Christmas vacation to and <laughs> ladder 49. <laughs> yeah, what's that man? David Bowie, watch that man on XFM 104.9. Now, coming up, Steve. And listeners, I mean, then, you know, I'm talking to them mainly. I'm not really, I'm talking to you and Carl, really. Yeah. But, coming up, an old feature, Knob News. Oh, Knob News, the welcome return of Knob News. Yes, and, uh, Monkey News is still there, isn't it? Yeah. Um, just briefly, um, you don't think you really gave that, uh, competition justice, did you, not handing out the email? No, let's just quickly whisk through the questions again. Yeah. John's texted him, by the way, he says, I never get any of the Rockbusters clues. Is this a good or a bad thing? Definitely a good thing. Definitely a good Definitely thing. Definitely a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. All the people do. Well, First yeah. one. Why don't you borrow a bit of land off, uh, Mr. Boardman or Mr. Laurel? Or even Mr. Fletcher? Right. right. L.S. Second one. I'm gonna annoy those seabirds. Right. B. And the last one. What the Scouse fella said to the robber he found in his house next to his vineyard. A.W. If you know what they are, yeah. email in or, or uh, text Tell in. Tell us about the woman. What's the text? Quick, well, well, 83936 oh. on the text. Okay. Ricky uk on the email and that. Right, and that. Matt, I'm going to make a note of that. And that. Right, tell us about this woman. Well, it was just because you were saying about the, you know, our, our living We are there. broadcasting now, aren't we? This is actually going out, this is live. This isn't us sort of like... Yeah, so but you, you were just talking about how I lived in an odd village. Yeah. With kids with big heads and all that, right? And what I wanted to do. What is that again? The, there's two kids with big heads. Yeah, they, they just had sort of big heads and, uh, webbed hands and that. They went to my school. <laughs> and, uh, I got, when I spoke to my dad the other day, because I'm going to go out and see my mum and dad tomorrow. Oh, yeah. So I said, oh, have we, have we got any school, sort of school photographs with the, uh, big headed kids in? <laughs> And he said, nah, no, nobody bought, bought those sort of school photos, because they were in it, so it was always a bit ruined. <laughs> but I said, well... <laughs> no! No, he said, they said sales were, you know, because he obviously talked to other dads and stuff like that, and he just said, oh, no one, no one bought them. But anyway, so... I would uh, love them! Yeah! That's why I'd buy them! Yeah, but I wouldn't stand out, would I? If it's on the metal piece. Well, yeah, well, done well. Mm. Um, so, but anyway, so I was talking about, you know, When you say they had big heads, what do you mean? Do they look like someone from Doctor Who? They were just quite, quite big. But they weren't related? No. So why are you two blokes with big heads and webbed feet? I lived in a weird area. There was a, was there a chemical plant close by. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you've never told us that before. That explains a lot. <laughs> Not just the freaks in your neighbourhood, but... No, well, there, was weird, there was loads of weird stuff going on. No, there was this, like I said, there was this woman who, uh, used to, like, live in one of the council flats, right? And, uh, she had a three-wheeled, sort of big, what do you call it? Son. <laughs> three-wheeled son. <laughs> he was the weirdest bloke we ever knew. Well, he got, like, a big tricycle, tricycle but for, a la for an adult rather than one for a kid. It yeah. was a big one. It wasn't a motorbike, though, it was a... No, no, no it was a posh bike thing. Yeah. And she used to, uh, sort of ride down the road with a fella sat in the basket on the back, <laughs> so it's like, legs dangling over. And they'd be going to like the, like the pub or what have you. Was it a different fella each time or the same one? <laughs> yeah, same, same yeah. Little, little sort of bolded fella. So it was in collection for like organs and things. Oh. Bring out your ill. <laughs> and then just, people just throw, Grandad just in the back and go yeah. like, we're getting four quid for Granddad. But, but, but she's got like, 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 testicles on him. They're she, very low, but they're extremely like you're dead or nearly dead. <laughs> <laughs> she used to, uh, pick on her husband quite a lot. They'd be in the pub and what have you, and they'd be sat by themselves, but she'd always be sort of, you know, having a go at him, moaning at him, sort of pushing her about and that. Mm -hmm. So my dad and his mate, right, uh, they went round to the house, knocked on the door, she answered, and he said he, he said he was a copper, right? He said, you know, Detective uh, Pilkington, gonna come in and have a word. 
So I'm just gonna make a note of impersonating <laughs> a police officer. <laughs> <laughs> for, for, for the good, he went in and sort of now. I've heard, I've heard, you know, you're picking on your husband a lot. 